Okay, I'm going to do a review on my new TR Industrial TR300 jackhammer. Just got this yesterday. It's uh, their top of the line model, Chinese, off Amazon. Did some research on it. Not many YouTube videos on this model uh, exclusively. There's some on their cheaper models. Uh, overall, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, it's pretty beefy. It comes with uh, instructions, which from reading online, they're a uh, they're kind of written in English. Uh, a set of extra brushes there. Focus there. Uh, comes with a spanner wrench in here. A I'm assuming this is for oil for adding oil and a couple of allen wrenches for this head which I'll explain a little bit about based on what I found the handle you have to take this knob off because the hand the, you can't package it back up with the handle in the right position so you have to loosen the handle and turn it around for it to fit back in its box in this plastic case this case is yeah chintzy at best but Overall, I'm pretty impressed. The, uh, let me get right here. There's a oil sight glass on here, which when you turn it up, needs to be what I've read, half full. Uh, the spanner wrench here is made to take this off and fill with oil. Don't know how much oil it requires. Some people say theirs is full when they get it. I have a hard time believing that. So I'm going to add some oil later on and uh, try this thing out tomorrow. I'll explain what I'm doing. Decided to do an outdoor bathroom uh, to go with my outdoor kitchen so kids wasn't running in and out all the time. I have a rotary hammer, Makita, a rotary drill, and uh, I took and went and bought a chisel bit here. And that's two hours worth. I may be two inches down in some areas. I've drilled it with five eighths holes. There's about oh, 24 holes around this. And it just wasn't cutting the mustard. So I went back and went to Amazon. Started looking around. And the DeWalt's and all of that are over $1,000. Well... I wasn't willing to pay that, so I found this for two sixty, and then I think it was twenty two dollars for a four year extension plan, still under three hundred bucks. The manufacturer gives a one year warranty, and then the four year warranty on top of that with Amazon brings it to five years, so that's sixty bucks a year. That's cheaper than one rental. If I, I if it lasts me two or three years, I'll still buy another one of those. Now, it also comes with some cheap old gloves and safety glasses. I don't know why they throw it in there other than the idiot's guide to you need to wear this stuff. These two bits here came with the, uh, came with it. Let me unpackage it here. So there's one. And these things weigh about three pounds a piece. They're they're pretty monstrous. As you I can see holding it in my hand. Uh, these bits are proprietary to the jackhammer itself. I noticed a lot of guys online complaining that these bits didn't fit their fancy DeWalt jackhammer. Well, tough shit. You bought an expensive jackhammer, buy expensive bits. Don't cheap out on the bits. Uh, I ordered two more from the manufacturer, same as these, just extras, just in case. I didn't know if I'd need them or not. And then I ordered a spade bit here. And this dude, for digging in the clay soil here in Texas, I think it's, uh, I think it's going to be the winner. Now, a few things you're going to have to buy. From reading online, of course, they're, the manufacturer recommends 1540 Rotella. They also recommend a little bit grease on these bits on the moving parts here 
just it, not much, just a little bit, and then some thread sealant. That thread sealant is going to be used because I've read guys online talking about these right here backing off. Well, I'm going to tighten it down before I use it, and I'm not even going to take these out. And if they come loose while jackhammering, then I will add thread sealant to it. I'm going to try to use this out straight out of the box. Just put oil in it. People talk about these losing an ounce of oil every two hours or so. If it does, that's fine. I'll I'll deal with it. But overall, I'm pretty impressed. And once I get it all put together, filled with oil, I'm going to give it a go in the morning. And uh, I'll try to, since you see how much is done here, I'm going to try to drill a few more holes around where I need to cut. And then I'm going to do, let's say, 30 minutes of jackhammering just to see how far I get. And you'll see what the rotary hammer versus this does and I have a feeling this beast here it's it's going to uh, it's going to tear some concrete up I do know that this slab is a foot thick and as you can see about three quarters of an inch down I already hit rebar so it, it's it's going to be fun jackhammering it but anyway we'll end this video and then tomorrow I'll I'll uh, fire this dude up, run it some, and then maybe do a video with it running.